Today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious banana chocolate chip muffin with cinnamon sugar sprinkled on top. For this recipe you can use fresh bananas or you can use frozen bananas. This is actually a really great way to make your bananas super ripe first, freeze them, and then use them in your muffin so you get the most out of your banana goodness. In a bowl, mix in one cup of sugar, half a cup of vegetable oil, one egg, or in our case, quarter cup of applesauce, which we used as an egg substitute since during the coronavirus pandemic we couldn't get to the store and we were out of eggs. Mix the sugar, the oil, and your egg or egg substitute until nice and creamy. Chop up your bananas into nice little pieces. And then add to your sugar and egg mixture. And mash that in with your whisk. And then stir all together till nice and smooth. Then add in two cups of flour, all-purpose flour. One teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of salt. And mix that together with a spatula. Don't worry if there are a couple of lumps, that's fine. You just want to make sure that all the flour is well incorporated. Then add one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips and mix that in gently. Then in a separate bowl, combine sugar, in this case we used brown sugar, we like the taste of brown sugar, and some cinnamon. So about a teaspoon of cinnamon to about a quarter cup of brown sugar and this is going to be your topping for the muffins. And just mix this together with a fork. Then spoon in your muffin mixture into the muffin tin. You can prepare your muffin tin with some butter to make it not stick or just use the muffin tin that is a non-stick muffin tin or you can even use those little cupcake liners in your muffin tin. Whatever is going to work best for you. And then scoop your banana chocolate chip muffin batter into each of the muffin cups. Don't worry if you don't measure it exactly right the first time. You can always take a little bit from a larger cup and put it in a smaller cup to even out your muffins before baking them. Then sprinkle on your sugar and cinnamon mixture on top of your muffin. Place in your preheated oven in the center of the oven so that it will cook evenly. Bake at 350 for about 30 to 40 minutes depending on the heat of your oven. Just check your muffins after 30 minutes and then you can see if they're ready. After 30 minutes to check and see if your muffins are ready, take a toothpick and insert it into the center of one of the muffins and when you pull the toothpick out, your toothpick should come out clean. It could have some chocolate on it from the melted chocolate chips, but it shouldn't have any sticky batter on it anymore. If it does, then just pop it back into the oven for another five minutes at a time and check again. As you can see, we needed to put our muffins back in the oven for a few more minutes and then they were done. And we just let them cool on the top of the stove that was turned off <laughs> until they were nice and cool and easy to remove from the pit. These muffins are so delicious, they're so easy to make, and they're a really nice snack or to go. And they taste really great with some butter on to balance out the sweetness.
If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you'll learn new yummy recipes and fun cake decorating ideas every single week. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that YouTube can let you know as soon as my next video is posted and you won't miss anything. And now head on over here and I'm going to share with you some more yummy baking recipes.